They can't wait to unbox the bloody A70. That's right guys, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the bloody A70. I'm also going to be showing you how good this mouse is for all clicking methods including drag clicking, butterfly clicking, and jitter clicking. And I'll also provide the pros and cons at the end of the video. Huge thanks to bloody for sending me this mouse and for making this video possible. If you watch my videos, consider to like and subscribe because we are on our way to 30,000 subscribers. So I'm grateful for each subscriber. But other than that, I hope you enjoy the video. Alright gamers, so I got my Krabby Patty spatula here all right guys so now i got my machete unbox this now ultimate gaming gear let me just flip this over damn look at that look how beautiful that is those little cracky marks A little welcome letter the secret weapon software so they're going to be talking about what the software has to provide. Here you have the actual mouse itself. Bro, everyone was talking about a bloody A70 for like six years and I actually got my hand on one. So thank you, bloody. So I have the bloody A70 all plugged in and this is what it looks like. I'm not going to lie. I love the colors on this mouse. Here's a little size comparison if you're wondering how they both look. The bloody A70 in my opinion is a bit bigger than the Rokat K100. Other than that, I don't really see a big difference. One thing I really noticed is that Bloody A70 has a lot of space to click so I can already tell that dragging on the A70 can be way easier since you have a lot more space here compared to the Rokat K100. So the mouse weighs around 150 grams displayed by Bloody. Now it comes down to personal preference about what games you play. So myself, I play a lot of FPS games, so in my opinion, having a lighter mouse would be better. But if you just play Minecraft, a heavy mouse actually makes it easier to aim since you don't have to move your arm that much because of the weight. 150 grams is perfect for PvP and bridging, but it might not be for FPS games. Remember, this is a Minecraft video. One thing I love about the A70 is it provides it provides a huge variety to everyone, whether you're right-handed or left-handed, this mouse is ambidextrous, meaning with both types of hands, you can comfortably use it. Trust me, on the left-hand side, it's actually really comfy. The cable is actually a braided cable, which if you compare with the Kane 100, it has a better cable. So wire cuts are less likely to happen and overall, the A70 has a lot more safety. Unless if you get mad at someone in Minecraft and cut the cable with scissors like a pro. So Minecraft is a very tracking pace game which is why i think the optical engine sensor is perfect for pvp and bridging i've had no issue tracking opponents in fast games like sky wars and duels i think the precision of the a70 is super clear so the feet pads of the mouse are so nice the mouse just glides on the mouse pad it's super satisfying it's like i'm skating with a mouse that is for a block game so if you look at the middle of the A70, you can see that there's some algebra, 1, N, and 3. I'm going to be telling you what each button function is. Haha, <laughs> you get the joke? Math function. <laughs> oh, okay. That makes no sense. So as I said before, this mouse is amazing for FPS shooter games, and these three buttons are exactly for that. So if I press one button, it'll change the color to red, meaning that I'm doing a single shot in a game. N means a tuned in shot, so I'll keep firing constantly until I switch it up. And three is for three bullet taps. This mouse is super amazing for FPS games. It, it, it literally looks like it was made for FPS games. The build quality is super sturdy, except the side buttons, they seem really plastic and loose that would be something i would change about it all right guys as you can see right now i am on i am on mcplayhd.net look at the drags on this mouse 40 right there oh 50 i've never had a mouse that drag clicks 50 right out of the box as i said before over time the switches get beaten up right 50 right there. The long drags on this mouse are way better than the Kane 100's long drags. Things like you can reduce pretty easily. You can also do some really nice extensions. You can also telebridge. This mouse is really good for telebridging. I'm not. I don't know how to telebridge, but as you can see, I can easily extend blocks. Oh shoot! 
Oh. What the? Yeah, oh, what? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You're gonna place those stinky blocks again? Stop building the Great Wall of China. Okay, come on, bro. Come on. Oh! Oh my god, this mouse is insane for reducing. Ugh. Why do people... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! Okay. As you guys saw, I'm the Floways champion. So as you guys can see, I'm in a lobby right now and I just want to show you peacefully without me screaming like a monkey. I can just get 20 CPS right now. I'm clicking right now and you can easily see that I'm getting 20. So this is the same as the Kane 100, around the same. It's super consistent for butterfly clicking. 20, 20, 20, look at that, okay. So I'm trying to whip this man. Come on, bro. Come on, come on. You're gonna bow spam me like that? Get butterfly clicked on, noob. I'm dying. Help me. Uh, uh, uh. 20 CPS, noob. Get get ripped on. Get ripped on. Okay, I'm so sorry. Okay, look, guys. When this happens to you, when you're at one heart, you gotta say my name. As you can see, we're gonna still win. Watch. Okay. As you guys are gonna see... We're still gonna win, no matter what happens, and as you see, we clutched it! Yeah, so, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna play another game because I'm a sweaty Minecraft kid. I play Minecraft all day, every day, no limits, Minecraft all the way. That rhymes, guys, right? I'm a rapper. 6 9 20, Oh my, 25, 25 CPS! Alright guys, so I'm gonna be sh I'm gonna Skyros lobby and I'm gonna show you jitter clicking on the bloody A70. So I'm personally am a butterfly clicker, so I do not jitter click. My CPS is averaging from 10 to 14, so I don't know if that's good or not. In reality, 10 to 14 is a really good CPS for. Uh, clicking because that's all you really need for PvP or anything pretty much. Alright guys, so I am in the software settings for the bloody A70 and I'm not gonna lie, they have provided you so many options, like an insane amount of options inside the bloody software. And I can really tell you that the software for this mouse is extremely important because most of the settings you want to change have to be done in the software. I personally don't think that most of the settings here really apply to Minecraft in general, which is obviously I respect that because not all companies make their mice for Minecraft. You have buttons, ultra guns games, sensitivity here. So if you want to change your DPI, you can do it right here. Hey guys, so now I'm going to be telling you about the pros and cons about the bloody A70. I'm not going to go deeply into the pros since I've already talked about them in the video. So the pros are, it's amazing for long dragging. So PvP, extensions, reducing, and telebridging can be done easily. It has a really nice drag cooking texture that actually works well with sweaty fingers, which is really strange. For around $35 on my first day, I could already get like 50 CPS, which is it's crazy. Some of my cons would be that it's a confusing mouse at the beginning. Like you have some algebra in the middle, which I don't understand at first. The software has so much information that I don't even know what's going on. I also feel like this mouse is heavily dependent on FPS games. There isn't much Minecraft variety about the mouse. 
To change the sensitivity, you have to do it in the software settings. Another thing is availability. The A70 is really hard to find due to the high demand of it. So you might have to put your name on a waitlist for it. With that said, I personally think it's an amazing mouse for every clicking method. And if you're a beginner or a pro, you're 100% likely to enjoy it. So that's pretty much it guys. I hope you have a good understanding of the A70. See you guys in the next video. I love you all. Peace.